you're now tuned in to Conversations with Caprice. I have author of the award-winning and best-selling book, Bariola-esque, the contemporary gentleman and etiquette book for the urban sophisticated, and he just released his second book titled Gentlewoman, Etiquette for a Lady from a Gentleman. Welcome to the show, Anatom Bariola. Well, thank you for having me, Miss Caprice. I appreciate it. <laughs> you are so welcome. Yeah, a lot of people know you as Bariola. Bar- I want to get it right. Bariola S. Because <laughs> <laughs> we retweet and Facebook you and everything. You're always giving off great advice. So it's only I right, appreciate of that. course, that you give us another book after your best selling book. And this one, even the author and actor Hill Harper and Michelle Williams from Destiny's Child have endorsed your book. How's that? It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> I know you're, I know it's, you're it's excited about the hype, right? I think it's, it's dope that people are, uh, you know, kind of hanging on to something that's just positive and, and cool at the same time. You know, I think it's uh, it's time for a change, and I appreciate the fact that these these individuals who have supported, and even those involved, you know, like Megan Good and Brian Michael Cox, Bobby Wagner, all those involved, uh, Ramon, mm-hmm. Ray Grayson, I think it's, it's dope that we're finally kind of accepting uh, a, a different different ingredients, okay. different ingredients to society. Okay, and I read on your Twitter that Gentle Woman is number eleven already on the Amazon bestsellers list in self esteem. Is that true? You gotta you gotta refresh your page. It's number nine, baby. Okay. What are you talking about? <laughs> Excuse no, it, it, it's number nine me. now. I think it's really it's, it's just a testament again to um, what people kind of want nowadays. You know, mm-hmm. I think I think we're we're tired of a certain way of living and um, what we've been being fed. And I think that. We're just thirsty. We're hungry for something different, for something more, for something positive, for something better. So um, it's been selling like crazy. It's number nine now. I awesome. mean, we hope to get it to number one. I'm satisfied where we are. I mean, it's, it's been out for a day. That's awesome. Uh, so define gentlewoman for me. Oh, gosh. That was the toughest thing to do, you know? I mean, <laughs> mm-hmm. I bet. I mean. She's, uh, she's well, well-mannered, well well-read. You know, she's a lover of, of God and good books and great cocktails and, mm-hmm. you know, good fashion. She, she, I think all in all, a gentlewoman is a woman who has fallen in love with herself and isn't afraid to be the person that she fell in love with. Mm-hmm. You know, because society has so many kind of contradictory and just a bunch of crazy rules, you mm-hmm. know, that, that they put a place on women and don't place on men. And Absolutely. we do live in like a, a patriarchal society. Mm-hmm. And even myself, like as much of a gentleman as I am and this and that, it's like I was raised in a, in a world that, or at least a society that has a mindset of, of uh, patriarchy and mm-hmm. uh, sexism. So even some of that was embedded in me. So some of my thoughts and my ideas were rooted in that, and I didn't realize it until I was writing books. So the gentlewoman is a woman who's not afraid to just be herself. Right, right. So I read in your first chapter, and so I read mm-hmm. that you wrote, um, I didn't write this book because I wanted to, but because I had to. Why? Elaborate on that. Why did you feel the need to write this book? It was something that was kind of tugging, tugging at me for a long time. You know, it's necessary because, I mean, if I'm going to speak to men, I'm, I'm all about balance. Okay. It's tough for a man to write something to women you know there has to be a lot of sensitivity taken into mm-hmm. into consideration but in terms of balance you know i can't talk to men and not talk to you know our equal that's what i was going to say i i, I did appreciate that you did write the book for gentlemen first because we have a lot of authors out there that always want to tell women what to do to be better women and to attract men, how to keep men, and everything like that. So I do respect yeah. you for talking to the gentleman first, and now you're bringing, bringing it around to the women. But what are your thoughts towards critics who may have a problem with a man giving advice to women on proper etiquette? I think it's a ridiculous notion. Um, I, I always give this analogy. I even use the analogy in the book. If somebody, if a, if a man were to hand you $1 million, mm-hmm. Um, and let's even take it further. If a man were to, if you wanted something and somebody had possession of it and that somebody happened to be a man and he gave that to you, mm-hmm. the thing that you desired and or the thing that you need, would you not receive it because he's a man? Yeah, and I being know. a woman, like she offers that same thing, are you only receiving this because she's a woman? Mm-hmm. It did, like the vehicle through which things are de- delivered is, is, is generally irrelevant. Mm-hmm. I think I understand the sensitivity and the anger is behind when women get upset about things like this because you look at this and you would automatically assume that I am one of those guys. I'm like right. trying to capitalize or <laughs> um, 
you know, make a quick buck or, mm-hmm. you know, you see all this, the market saturated with articles and, and movies and books about mm-hmm. how to do this and what's wrong with women and why these women aren't married and blah, blah, all this crazy stuff like something's wrong with y'all. Right. But the premise of the book is the exact opposite. You know, it's, it's the book is intended to deceive you and intended to make you kind of feel a certain way because my whole responsibility in terms of my writing style, I always want to write in a way that forces people to change their perspective, forces people to put their shoe on the other foot. Yeah. You know, if you're not fully supportive, I want you to question it mm-hmm. because you're questioning it and it's like I'm actually holding a mirror to you to, to, mm-hmm. to allow you to see like some things that you need to change about yourself because you're prejudging this thing. Mm-hmm. I have people who, who say, I mean, you didn't put a black girl on the cover. Well, guess what? She is a black girl. You know, I intentionally have somebody to deceive you so that you automatically, you know, draw conclusions based off of a ridiculous assumption. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm truly trying to change your mind. And it even starts with the cover itself.